voters will be going to the polls tomorrow for another election day during the pandemic. News 9's Natalie Sapila joins us live with what you need to know before you head out to vote. Hi, Natalie. Hi, Phil. If you voted earlier this year, there won't be many changes from last time, but there are still a few things you should keep in mind before you head to the polls. This Tuesday, another election day in Wisconsin. It's still unclear just how many people will turn out to the polls. Something I'm not sure on at this point. The town clerks have already issued um, 6,600 absentee ballots. Another election to be held during the pandemic. Voters won't see much change at their polling locations from the last election. Plexiglass installations, poll workers wearing masks, um, hand sanitizing stations. A lot of what they've seen in the April election, but I think just increased since then. And while you'll see poll workers wearing masks, despite the statewide mask mandate, you are not required to wear one to receive your ballot. I think most clerks are encouraging voters to wear masks just for their own health safety and that of the poll workers, but um, we are not allowed to require that. So voters, if they come without a mask, they will be allowed to vote. It's been a learning process for everyone, including city officials. Just, you know, making sure we're focusing on uh, sanitizing surfaces, sanitizing hands, um, keeping that six foot social distancing, um, just making sure we're keeping everyone safe as much as possible, but still allowing people to vote. And there are a few things clerks want you to know before you get out and vote tomorrow. Just remember, bring your photo ID. You are going to need to provide that. Um, and. Be prepared. You know, we don't know what the turnout's going to be, so I don't know if there's going to be lines at polling locations. So just be prepared to be patient and let the poll workers do their job so we have a successful election. Your polling location may have changed between now and the last election. You can take a look at our website for more information on how to find your location. Live in Wausau, Natalie Sapila, News 9, WAOW.